All right, moving on to legal. This is a small section. I have a. Uh, you want to move the 198875 total? I'll, I'll move the 198875 total. Second. Thank you. Can, you. can I comment on that now? Or do you I want to? Taking two thousand. Um, Mike yeah. seconded it. Okay. It's. It, I thought it was 196 because we took 2,000. Didn't we reallocate? Yeah, we, haven't no, we haven't done that yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Was that? We Sorry. have to do that Just now got to, if we're uh, going to do that. Yep. <laughs> if we're going to do that. Okay. Yep. Sorry. That's it. The other one's already done. Yep. Okay. The discussion on this one. Well, I, I um, feel that we should reduce the outside council fees from 50 to 25, which is what he had last year. And if you analyze what he had last year, it's about 25, 27. And when he was in here and we, he discussed the jump, he indicated this was kind of... Uh, Sorry, I'm only seeing 10,000 for outside council. Outside council fees, legal expenses. Yeah, it's uh, fourth line from the bottom. It's 30, 3230. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah, Fifty thousand. Right. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. And uh, he, a couple of things that he mentioned that, that kind of struck resonance with me was that you know it was kind of an estimate. It was a contingency. Uh, you know, uh, felt that perhaps he might need it. You know, and uh, I don't know. Those words didn't convince me. It didn't seem like we had a heavy legal agenda in no. the coming year. No. It's a discussion. I'll, I will say that uh, it's a very uh, bad idea to reduce that. There are, are some uh, exigencies and some initiatives, some efforts going forward in the next calendar year uh, that uh, are being dealt with by the selectmen, by the town attorney, uh, and it will handcuff our efforts to the detriment of the citizen and the taxpayer. And I would. Uh, this body. And I, I will comment uh, to that as well, though, when, when we made the assistant manager's job and outside council fees uh, was mentioned there's going to be suffering as a result of this, um, and it would begin to pulse upward. This is the first pulse upward. Uh, and I've got inside dope that uh, Jerry doesn't have, and it, again, I say, uh, from a very informed basis, this is very bad. and then Nick. Okay. Total legal is minus 4.33%. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with this, with this entire legal thing. I can't believe we're changing it. It's already a minus number. So, in my opinion. If you want to adjust that $2,000 okay. that you moved over, I, I'm for that. But as far as, as far as just my opinion, sorry. All right. Nick? Um, if, if I, my memory serves me correctly, back in 2011 through 2014, or sorry, 2013, he had marked, lined some stuff under litigation expenses and not outside counsel fees. And if you look at, yes, his outside counsel fees may have gone up a little bit, but his litigation fees have gone down significantly. Like, when, when you average them out and come up, I mean, I, I kind of agree with Stephen. We're, we're looking at a negative here. Uh, it just seems to be like it's a little more uh, truth in spending reflective. It's my opinion. Two grand. Yeah. Oh, 14, he spent 29.3. <coughs> yeah. And, and then litigation expenses? And uh, I'm not talking about litigation. I don't see any problem with litigation, so I didn't challenge it. I'm going. I'm just going against the outside council fees. Yeah, and if you look at if you look at the actual year to date, in, in 15 is 25,000, in 14 it was 20, 25,000, 26,000, and he felt that he needed 50 because he needed some comfort. He needed, it, 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 you know, he needed, I also he needed I also think he used some outside services and he he put them under litigation expenses. That's why in 2011 litigation expenses 25,000 dollars. Even though outside council fees sixteen thousand. Twenty in twenty eleven, it was a very litigious year. That that's the problem. The problem we have with legal 
is we had some years when we were dealing with the utilities that we were expending a lot of money. By the caseloads, it, it looks like it's really lightened up. A lot of those have been settled. Um, but the other side of it is that this is one area where we are not fully aware of everything that is on the horizon and selectmen often know things that we can't know at this point in time for legal reasons. So it's a danger to strip it down too much, um, if at all, in this area. Well, but it's well still, if that's the it, case. It, and, but to speaking to Stephen, and it's only a little bit of an increase, I'm going to remind everybody the, bu the budget it decreased, but this, a, this less of 1% doesn't make a big difference to me. Um, in a budget this past year, that even with the snow emergency was out there about a million dollars more than was needed. So there's a big picture, and this is just one line, but we've moved a lot of money out of this already, as you remember, into assessing. So that is a big show of a deduction right, reduction right there, because as some of you remember who were on this committee before, that money that is now in assessing legal was in this outside council fund, okay? So when you have look at outside council, you got to put the two of those together because that's really the big nut on the outside council. Um, <clears throat> he also lost his assistant, too. The only one person. Well, that has nothing to do with this particular line. Right, he lost this his exact assistant. exact line, no. No. But this is, this is outside counsel. This is when he can't take care of it. He's got to go to someone or an expert in, in, a, in a legal field. Nick. That being said, I will refer to the default de facto expert on this situation, um, which seems to be Mr. Bean has the most information, seeing that the selectmen are privy to outside information that we do not have. He would be the one that would, I would think, have the best knowledge. And if he recommends to keep it at fifty thousand, I would I would have to agree with that recommendation and not change the line. I agree. Tim. If Mr. Bean has special information that we do not have, and we are the ones that have to render a vote, then perhaps it's incumbent upon Mr. Bean to share with us that information instead of pulling us hostage in the state of presumed ignorance. The time for this was when the town attorney was in here. We've already stated that we spent 33 hours grilling these department heads. How much more time are we going to spend grilling people when we have de facto experts on this board? I am claiming my time, Madam Chair. No one is being grilled. I simply made a statement that we are going to argue that one person in this room on this committee has wisdom and knowledge that none of us have, that it's incumbent upon them to share it with his fellow members and not simply yield to his conclusion. We're not slaves. We're not metaphysical slaves. We have brains, each one of us, individually. This is regular order, Mr. Bean. I have the floor. That's regular order. Hello? I did ask. I did ask. my time, Madam Chair. Well, at this point, I'm going to call order in this room. Yes. Fine. Please have a seat, if you would. So we can get through yeah, this. I did. I and did. I'm sorry, the, the number of hours, the 33 hours, has come up. I have to tell you, I have 33 hours this week alone in budget committee. Mm -hmm. So when you when you ask to be elected and serve the people, it's to come out with the budget, and whatever it takes. This year has been a very difficult year. I will give you that. And I'm here in Willie. We're not done. I'm, I'm not. Am I claiming we should be? Reclaiming my time, Madam Chair. So, like Mr. Bean, I have special knowledge, inside information that I have not yet shared because I've been waiting for Mr. Bean to share his inside information. Is it on this line? You can't. you can't share it. Well, nor can I share mine for that same reason. Okay. Less, uh, less, I less, started out by saying there are some things about? in this line that we are not privy Mr. Bean to. is not the only one. All right, let's Mr. move on. I am actually <laughs> speaking on the motion, Madam Chair. Well, then, let's speak to the number. and. Let's try to stay on that. It has been re represented by those who would suggest that there's something wrong with the number in this motion, that the motion maker and seconder and those who might support him 
are living in a state of ignorance, and yet another member has greater knowledge that cannot be shared. And I'm simply pointing out that there is still another member that has other knowledge that cannot be shared, that is actually supportive of this motion. Okay. Nothing to do with numbers. Okay. Yes, it did. I, I did ask Mark when he was here, what was the justification? Mark indicated that it was an estimate. It's a contingency. <clears throat> And, you know, I may not use it, that kind of stuff. That's what I got back. Okay. I didn't get back. I'm working on this case, that case, this case, and that case. Madam Chairman, may I? Mm -hmm. um, I would like to uh, make, a, make a comment about this. It, it did seem pretty weak about his request for 50000 And I think I have to agree in, in my own way, a little different than Mr. Jones, that we don't... I don't like to be threatened by unknowns. That is not any way to conduct this committee. And putting that aside, though, I'll just ignore it, okay? And ignore it, period. But when it comes to this, though, we have to also consider during this motion that we need to also get the 2000 over the budget. I want to move forward on this. Let's take a vote on taking out the 25000 Either we do or we don't. Let's right. put it up to a vote. All right. Please. So, motion by Jerry, second Does by... Does the 25000 include the 2000 yes. that was already taken? Okay. Okay. About 25000 And um, I might add that if all the all the um, CBAs are approved, are all of them in this year? I believe SCA has one more year. SCA has one more year that perhaps we won't need as much in the collective bargaining. But anyway, just throwing that in before we vote. All right, all those in favor of this motion? Opposed. Okay. That reflect opposed is Selectman Bean, Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve. Any abstentions? Motion passes.